Hello everybody. Well, we're getting through it all. We have a slight reprieve now with the UK lockdown. So the garden centre is open just in time for the spring plants. Um, and I had to do quite a lot in my garden. I can't get on my knees anymore, which is tricky. And I've got no one to help me. So I was repotting a plant that was terribly root bound. Now, anyone who knows about gardening will know what that means. I thought it can't stay in that pot. It's got to come out. And I couldn't get a thing out. So I just, I just said, to my dear friend Joshua <laughs> who left gardens I said please help me to get this out and you know he did I almost could see a pair of beautiful hands overshadow my hands and I pulled it out quite easily so he stayed for a cup of tea and a chat <laughs> I know we're all a bit silly aren't we but I, I, I feel it's very real so today is about love the many faces of love because I found there are so many faces of love. I haven't had much human love in my life, in fact very little, and so I've had to find it in other places. Master Peter at Dunulf, he said, the only love is the love of God. The love of God is all there is, and that is true. It, there is only one, one love, universal God love, but it's split into so many, it's almost like splitting the atom it's got so many thousands and millions of little little sides of it little pieces of it like a jigsaw puzzle has been thrown into the air and everybody nobody is exempt i mean i know i felt it exempt from time to time but today i'm in love i've had the garden and i've had my lovely friend jeshua with me and 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 you know, it's it's restored my faith a little. I was beginning to lose it after the last video. I didn't think that was particularly brilliant. I think I've lost my centre somewhere. So anyway, we're back, I hope, hopefully, into one piece for a little while. I just want to share with you some bits and pieces of my own experiences, which I have actually found, as I say, not in human beings, because I think human love anyway is very conditional. I mean... I think there's a Indian saying that love will start off as a furnace and dwindle to a flame and, and other, other kinds of love start off with a flame and dwindle to go to a furnace but most love over time I think it becomes well you, you get used to a person don't you the, the fun bits wear off that's my experience not why I've had many fun bits I was married for a long time with no love so um, I've had to really find it elsewhere since I left my husband I mean I was completely loveless I don't need for anybody else my daughter had her own life and you know she's my daughter and things happen between mums and daughters don't they so I've had to really well not, I didn't search for it but I suppose because I hadn't got any other love um it love came to me you know which I think it does I feel, I feel quite tearful talking about it because it is a very personal thing and one of my videos I talk about how my father um, said goodbye to me when I was leaving home um, and that was the, I think the first time I felt love in my solar plexus and I were told it's in the heart but I, I seem to feel it much deeper than that so I just wanted to share a, a few experiences really that have, I can't say prove to me because you don't have to prove it but you know in your heart well, that was something special, you know, little things that happen. And they do, I mean, people have love for animals and for plants and buildings, holidays. We're always saying that, aren't we? I love this, I love that. And my dear Master Miraji says, that we don't really mean we love it, we like it, but loving is something else. So personally, I found it very much in nature. And I could tell you a few little stories which might make you laugh. You think she's a silly old buddy, which I am. <laughs> but it's nice to share these things because other people will think, well, yes, that's true, I felt that, or I could feel it, you know. And def nature definitely is a place to go. And, of course, the animal kingdom, birds. And I, I, it's quite amazing. You know, I've got a... When I first moved out here five years ago, before I was very ill, I um, had the cherry tree at the bottom of my driveway here, and I made a friend of it. I love trees. We all love trees, don't we? And they do listen. They say I talk to the trees, but they don't listen to me, but they do. And if you listen carefully, you can get a feeling that there's a response of some sort. And this particular cherry tree is a very dear friend of mine. Been, I've, I've got to stand by him. At two o'clock in the morning, if I can't sleep, I go out and stand on back against the Tree and I'm grounded. I talked to her. I said, I'll give you my energy if you give me some of yours. 
<laughs> and this is true this is a true this is true i know you all think i'm a bit of a nut but anyway um this very the first time i think we met i was really very distressed very lonely and in, I, I do a lot of crying i'm always crying and do you know i could feel all these little like, twigs little twiglets go around my middle and this i know it sounds silly but I, yeah, they were little twigs all went round my middle and so it was giving me a hug isn't that lovely really lovely and that's the only time it's happened but I talk to it and say how lovely it is and if I'm giving it a lot of praise especially at blossom time I do feel like a little surge or a little push of energy go into me that is saying he loves me too it loves me too and 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 plants and this experience is if you talk to plants I was watching Eckhart Tolle the other day and he was saying exactly the same thing sitting on the stage with a vase of flowers beside him and he was saying there's something in that plant that can resonate with, with us with the love within us because everything is love everything is basically comes from love it's just finding finding it and recognising it and allowing it you know uh, because I think we have, we have so many doubts about these things don't we but I can remember last autumn my Michael stasis they're huge they're very tall and like a deep blue purple they were fantastic and I just looked at them I said you are absolutely beautiful and it made me cry because again they sent me a lot of, it was almost like appreciation thank you for appreciating us thank you for you know loving us and, and I think that came back to me and it happens a lot that I, I, plants especially um, but birds <laughs> birds I've had this may sound very silly but I I keep saying that because I'm probably I'm judging myself I don't know but I have to do this today it feels to me because I was in my garden just now with so much love around me I thought I've got to share it a bit you know <laughs> um, but blackbirds in particular I've got a nice little garden it's very sort of enclosed and I do love the birds I don't like the field birds when they come zooming and great big things and pick the crumbs I put out for the blackbirds and I'm always shouting at them so <laughs> I obviously don't love all birds but anyway the blackbirds and this is true again I was feeling very very down one day and a blackbird came along and it sat right next to me on the floor and it opened its beak now <laughs> I know this but it it wasn't singing I was talking to it and I said are you come to keep me company have you sort of thing you know <laughs> and it opened its little beak and I'm sure it said yes <laughs> So it's a place to look and I mean look into a horse's eyes don't you see love there and animals eyes they look at it with such devotion and such love so that's another aspect of it really there's so many aspects of it and you know every, everything we see really has a very small portion of love I just was thinking today it's almost like this vast love that we obviously can't understand or, or container and it's almost like you split in the atom there's a little tiny piece in every one of us and everybody can tune into that it just takes practice and of course the more upset we are about things the more angry we are about things that it's hard to find it we have to be really receptive and peaceful meditation helps but I think just looking at nature going out for a walk water I mean do you find water can communicate the sea the sand it, it's, it's I, I suppose I'm lucky that I have got to that stage where I've, that's the only alternative I've had because I, I haven't got anybody in my life. I mean, my daughter loves me, I suppose, but it's not shown. It's not, you know, because she's, well, you know. <laughs> it's just, I, I think for me in this lifetime, it's been my challenge. We have three pals, I think, I read somewhere. Love, wisdom and power, those three attributes that we are learning in our journey through whatever, our lifetimes. I think I've got the wisdom and I've got the, had the power, that's another story, which I've had to learn to handle in this lifetime. But I think love I was really struggling with and I've had to find it, even in the most dire circumstances. I mean, there have been some pretty awful circumstances and in, even in that, you have to find, you can find it, it just... It's believing it and love will always find you it will always come to you if you're willing and able to receive it 
I had a beautiful experience a few summers ago. Um, I went to see a friend of mine, well, more like an acquaintance, really, very, very spiritual man, a religious man, you know, one of the very religious. And um, I was coming out of his house. I fell flat on flat, face down onto the floor. And he came over to me, put his arms all round my middle and lifted me up. And it wasn't him. It was beloved Joshua. I could almost see his brown robe and I know that sounds silly but that's how I suppose we would relate to him. He probably wears a suit nowadays <laughs> with a pink carnation. So um, I, 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 could, I can still feel it now, the energy, the love that he picked me up. I mean he didn't just pull me up on my arm or you know like a, a, a human being might just pull you up or put his arm. But he put his arms all around me and lifted me up. And I came home and I cried buckets. I thought, my goodness, that's a real connection. That is really beautiful that he should come and pick me up. And of course, he does that to lots of people. It's not, I want to say this, it's not just me. These are my personal experiences. But you hear these stories, uh, my afterlife, life after death, death after life, whatever, <laughs> videos all about this. And I just wanted to share this today because I think, well, I, I do feel, although this very difficult time we're having, lots of love has been coming through it, hasn't it? People are very, very kind. Lots of goodness is coming through, and things always do in, in times of catastrophe, don't they? Like the last war and fires in Australia and floods, and people seem to tune into another part of themselves, don't they, to, to be kind to each other. So I do think that these things happen for a purpose, is to bring out that side of us and to share and, and find that you know i mean i'm talking from experience i've had a, a very barren lifetime really never had any never had boyfriends or lovers or love affairs i've had one you know the usual stuff but not that kind of i don't know recognizing acknowledging valuing me i've not felt that but as soon as you feel that little speck of love awakening you you know and it's usually i feel quite too and it's usually from bees i had a bee sit with me once anyway i better stop it's 12 minutes i was surprised at the minimum time some people watch these videos and i was a bit upset i thought i'm not going to get upset this is lovely it might this might get a few more <laughs> responses you probably think i'm a silly old thing but anyway that doesn't matter does it so here we are 12 minutes gone and so i'll say goodbye now and with lots of love yes i'm going to send on my lovely garden plants who are very appreciative this plant i repotted was said definitely said thank you <laughs> so take care dear ones don't forget to get out into nature and watch for the love take care god bless bye bye